This is a problem from the People's Physics book, and it's a classic problem that all birds have to do in order to pass physics. And the question is, at how much distance before the, the bird reaches the waiter should he drop his poo? So in other words, what is delta x here such that the poo arrives safely on the waiter's head? Let's write down what we know. Well, we know that the speed in the x direction is equal to 20 meters per second. And this is a projectile motion problem. We are ignoring air resistance. And therefore, the speed in the x direction will not change. It will always be 20 meters per second. In the y direction, we know that the change in height is equal to negative 10 meters. We also know that the initial velocity in the y direction is zero. And finally, because it is projectile motion, we know that the acceleration is just g. That is the acceleration of gravity, which is negative 10 meters per second squared to one significant digit. So let's set about solving this problem. The first thing we need to do is figure out how much time the poo is in the air. Well. We'll use the equation for distance. So the change in y equals the initial speed in the y direction multiplied by time plus 1 half times the acceleration times the time squared. Let's plug in the numbers. And we have a minus 10 meters for the change in vertical distance. That's equal to zero because the bird is flying horizontally. And then that's plus one half minus 10 and that's meters per second squared times the time squared, which is the variable we're trying to find. Uh, let's just multiply a couple things out. And we have minus 5 meters per second squared multiplied by the time squared. And now let's divide both sides by the 5 meters per second squared. And these guys cancel. 10 divided by 5 is 2. The meters here cancel. And the s squared pops up to the top. So we have, oops, and I forgot a minus sign here. And so then we have 2 seconds squared equals t squared. And then to solve for time, we simply take the square root of both sides. And we are now left with t equal to 1.4 seconds. Now to find the horizontal distance, well, that's pretty easy. We just use the fact that the change in horizontal distance is simply equal to the speed times the time. And we know both of these. The speed is 20 meters per second. And the time is 1.4 seconds. And 20 times 1.4 is equal to 28 meters. 
So, when the bird is 28 meters before reaching the man, he drops his poo and it will safely arrive on the waiter's head.